Uh, this is the Unit 2 seminar on polynomial algebraic equations. Uh, second half of the seminar, we're going to be dealing with rational expressions. But first of all, it's pretty much a review from uh, last year, but just taking it up a, a notch. Uh, we're going to be dealing with algebraic polynomial equations, basi basically mean algebraic equations with more than one term. So for this particular example, we're going to talk about expanding binomials and trinomials. Expanding binomials and trinomials. So right now we have, usually last year, you would have just the first two, two binomials that you needed to expand. Can someone tell me what process we use to expand the binomials? Yes, FOIL, perfect. Uh, but now when we have two trinomials, what I'm going to do first is expand just two of the binomials in order to generate one trinomial. So to do that, I'm going to use FOIL on the first two. Now it's unlike grade 10, now we expect you to know how to do FOIL very well, so you don't have to show all your steps. So inside the brackets, x times x is x squared. I know my outside terms are 3x and a 2x, and they combine to 5x. And my last term is positive 6. So the trinomial generated from that. And I have this one binomial over here. So now this is the new content. We have a trinomial multiplied by a binomial. So first of all, I'm going to take my x term and I'm going to multiply it by each of the terms in my trinomial. So that gives me x multiplied by x squared. Oops. And then I have my positive x multiplied by 5x. And then positive x again multiplied by 6. The next step is to take the positive 1 and multiply positive 1 by all the terms in my trinomial. So I'm going to take positive 1 multiply it by x squared, positive 1 multiplied by 5x, and positive 1 multiplied by 6. And when you do that, x times x squared is x to the power of 3. x times 5x is going to give me 5x squared. 6 times x is positive 6x. Then I have x times 1 times x squared, which will give me x squared, positive 5x, and positive 6. Those are a lot of terms, but you'll notice because there are three terms in the trinomial, uh, we double that with the two terms in the binomial. We have a total of six terms that would generate from this one question, okay? Now I'm going to show you a trick that I'd like you to do in your unit guides, just because even though it's very simple to now combine like terms, some, it's also easy to uh, mistake you know, an x cubed for an x squared because there's, you're working with so many different terms, polynomial equations. So what I like to do is I'm going to put a red line under all the x squared. I'm going to color code my like terms so it makes it easier to visualize. I'm going to highlight all of my x terms, oh, maybe with blue, all of my x terms, and then I have two uh, terms that cannot be combined with anything else. So we're going to rewrite this equation as x cubed. Now I'm going to rewrite all of the x squared next uh, terms next to each other. So 5x squared and positive 1x squared. 
Next come my x terms, positive 6x and positive 5x. And finally, the positive 6 at the end. So my final answer is going to be x cubed. 5x squared plus x squared is going to give me plus 6x squared. 6x plus 5x is going to give me positive 11x and positive 6 at the end. Okay, so does that make sense to everyone? There's a couple of questions in assignment A that look like this. The next one is a little bit trickier, but also involves FOIL. So I'll give you a second to write the question down. Now this is to the power of 2. Now, whenever you have something to the power of 2, 2x two minus 1 to the power of 2, how do I have to rewrite this equation so I know exactly how to tackle this? Try in. Yes, good, very good. So whenever you see a binomial to the power of 2, I want you to rewrite the question so you have your two binomials multiplied by each other. And what is the next step? And remember, uh, what I forgot to reinforce is uh, combining like terms, combining polynomial equations, we're always going back to our bed mass rule. Bed mass is brackets first, then exponents, then division and multiplication, then addition and subtraction. So how do I get rid of those binomial brackets? What process am I going to use? Does anyone know? What do I do next? FOIL. Good. So... We have this positive 3 on the outside, and then I'm going to do FOIL to come up with an expression to put inside of the bracket. So FOIL with this, 2x times 2x is going to give me 4x squared. Negative 2x minus 2x is going to give me negative 4x, and negative 1 times negative 1 is a positive 1. 4x times 4x is 16x squared. 4x plus 4x is positive 8x. And 1 times 1 is positive 1. So I performed FOIL on the two binomials. And I cannot reinforce this enough. Whenever you see a binomial to the power of 2 or to the power of 3, you always have to rewrite the question. Okay, I still have brackets in the question. How do I get rid of my brackets? What do I need to do? What law do I have to apply next? Vicki, what do you think? Yes, so what is that called? The distributive property. So we're going to take 3 and multiply it by every term inside the bracket. And I'm going to take negative 5 and multiply it by every term inside the bracket. So that is going to give me 3 times 4x squared plus 3 times negative 4x plus 3 times positive 1. And then I'm going to take my negative 5 and I'm going to multiply it by 16x squared. Take my negative 5 again, multiply it by 8x, and I'm going to take negative 5 again and multiply it by positive 1. So we're doing the distributive property twice. The top line is the first trinomial distributive property and the bottom is the second trinomial.